Full Scope Satellite Network. All right, this guy, native son, born yeah. right here in Philadelphia, 12 year NBA vet. We couldn't be more proud of. Of course, so well, if he excited. played for the Sixers, we would have been proud of. Yeah, we would have been much prouder. Great. Played yep. for the Rockets, the Magic, the Kings, the Clippers. Now he's on Fox Sports as an analyst, and he's also a motivational speaker. Wow, terrific. He does a lot. Uh, anyway, let's bring him on. Katino Mobley, welcome to the show. Guys, how you doing, man? Hey, we're doing, doing great. Good. And, you know, Thank on the you. subject of how we're doing, you know, we know you had a bit of a heart condition. You know, that's yep. what caused you to retire from the league. You know, yep. you, we have a reputation, as you know. We can be tough on our guests. We're sometimes, very tough you know, we on get, our guests, but we're going to go, go easy sometimes today. Sometimes guests get scared of coming on the yep. show. Some don't show up like yeah, last week. Yeah, sometimes they don't even we're show gonna, up. They're so scared. Yeah, we're going to go easy on you. We don't want to get you riled up. Okay? No, nope, we want the heart rate to stay low, blood pressure yeah. down. We need that. Okay, Yeah, good. exactly. Okay, so here's why we brought you on today. Obviously, you played for the Orlando Magic in 2004, the year after Doc Rivers got fired, of course. you know, In the last season that Doc was there, that team, they finished an embarrassing 21-61. and 61, but Oh, then horrible. You, you came in and so did their new coach, Johnny Davis. They improved to a highly respectable 36-46, and 46, which is good for the Magic, you know. Yeah. When you showed up, tell us, Katino, how relieved in the building were people that, you know, Doc was finally out of there. I don't know if they were relieved, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I, uh, 21 games uh, the year prior, and then uh, I actually didn't want to leave Orlando, but uh, I I got into a little you know bump in the heads with uh, Johnny Davis. Uh, oh. When I left, we were top in, the, in in Orlando. We were top in the East, uh, one of the top teams. And when I left, these guys didn't even make the playoffs. Oh, so right. it's, you, know, you made that tough. about yourself, which is good. Yeah. I like that. Good ego. Yeah. You, what was yeah. your beef with Johnny Davis? Yeah, what, what happened? What, was he worse than Doc Rivers? What was his no, problem? He, was he worse than Doc Rivers? <laughs> this guy. No, um, Doc wasn't bad. Listen, Doc's never coached me. I think Doc's a good dude. Uh, but Says you. you yeah, know, says um, you. As far as um, Johnny, um, you know, he, Steve Francis and I were at that time, you know, ex, you know, backcourt of excitement for the NBA and you know, the team that we had, I, I, you know, I didn't want to share time with our rookies. And, you know, the, the reason there was success on our team at the time I was there, you know, Grant Hill was coming off, you know, injury and he's feeling better. Dwight Howard was a rookie, you yep. know, uh, yep. Turkoglu was coming off the bench. We had a nice little team. So, yeah. you know, he, he thought that the scheme and everything was his and, you know, come to find out the team broke up, you know, it's kind of like it just wasn't what it was when I left. So what you're saying there is that Johnny Davis is equally a shitty coach as Doc. Yeah, Rivers. just is as that, much as Doc. It sounds like just so I follow. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounded like. No, listen, I don't, I'm, all I'm saying is uh, we we didn't go to the playoffs that year. They didn't go to the playoffs that year. They all don't. Right, but, you know, you know. Just I have a question for you since you played the game. You know, Doc Rivers. He's had like a 20 year case of laryngitis. Yeah, he can't understand a word this <laughs> yeah, guy's saying. I can't talk. Tell me as a player, how important is it to actually be able to hear and understand your coach when he's talking? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, that's a good. There, there you go. There's a good He's impersonation. Doing a Rivers impression. Listen, like listen, boy, listen boy. guys. Yeah. Listen, I screamed a lot when I was younger. I don't know. You know, I I think Doc's a, a I think Doc. You know, he's a very. He's not a a Stan Van Gundy. He's not a Jeff Van Gundy, and he's very talented as a coach. But I just think the personality of Doc. He's not pushy. So in not being pushy. People practice bad habits throughout seasons. And because you're not pushy and, you know, guys just do what they want to do. And when it, it starts to show in the playoffs, and that's the that's the bad thing about the situation with that. You know, one of the rumors that we're hearing with the head coaching vacancy for the Sixers is former Raptors coach Nick Nurse. But don't you think that would be a downgrade going from Doc to a nurse? Yeah. I mean, they both won a championship. Doc don't have more championships than him. Yeah, but, you know, as a man who suffers from a heart condition, I just want to know, you know, who would you <laughs> rather see? You know, if they say the doctor's out, here's a nurse, wouldn't that bother you? Yeah. No, no because nurses do more work. Oh, wow. You have respect for nurses. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, nurses you've been, do more work. 
This is a man who, who you you have the experience here. Yeah, you the do. Hospital record. Yeah, you do. But just back to the Sixers. Yeah. You know, people are saying the Sixers season was a failure. But when you look at it, Joel Embiid won a title. Yeah, he won the, the title. A scoring title. A scoring title that counts. is harder to win. Yes. You got to beat the yeah. 600 people in the league, even people on your own team. Wouldn't you agree? Scoring title. More impressive. than NBA title. Get out of here. Are you serious? What are you guys on? Dope or oh. dog food? Oh, you have your me? mind? Excuse the scoring me? Scoring title? Yeah. Oh, score wait, title. Hold on. Yeah. I don't want you to get too upset. Yeah. Here. We could tell your blood pressure is like Just 136 up. over 82. Dope hold or, on. Let's bring it back food. down. Which one is it? Do- dope or dog food? Which one is it? I'm trying to figure Are it out. Are you kidding me? He had to beat out you 500 know, players jealous, in the league. He doubled your score. Yeah. Joel Embiid. What was your career high in the yeah, season? 15? Exactly. He had 32. Yeah. No, my career high in the season is 22. Uh, was that heartbeats? Heartbeats? 22 heartbeats per season? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're talking here. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm going to tell you this. What? How did that work out with you being the, the, the scoring leader? How did that doesn't work out? Matter. Tell me how doesn't that matter. Doesn't matter. We, we, we got, got a title. title already. What do you mean you know, it don't matter? Doesn't matter. What do you mean it don't matter? You brought it up. Yeah, this is a sore subject for you. I can yeah. tell why. Because you never played for the Sixers, right? Exactly. You wish you, you did. Wish you wish you played for the Sixers. No, I do not. No, I do not. Yeah, you don't. Uh-oh. He's getting a little agitated. No, I love, don't he? I love for the we, we probably just want to take it down and not. Okay, 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 you're right. What we're going to do, we're going to move to a better topic, a more, a more positive note for you. Yo. We want to talk about how you almost got traded to the Knicks, right? And then this was in the late 2000s, and then they brought you in for a medical evaluation, and they found you had this heart condition. How glad at that point were you for that heart condition? Do you go back and think of the years of your life you would have lost had you had to play for such a terrible organization? Um, at the time, Dan uh, Dan Tony was the coach. I wouldn't mind playing with Dan Tony, but I, I wasn't really a fan of uh, the guy Dolan, the owner. Yeah. wasn't a fan of him. So I think, uh, uh, you know, I, I, for me, truthfully, uh, I gotta be. I should have been careful of how I wish that one. Truthfully, what should you have done? I love New York. I love New York. I used to spend my summers in New York. I love D'Antoni, but I did not like the owner. He's a terrible, owner. terrible, He's terrible. Yeah. All right. All right. I see. I we're, good. I think we're a little calmer now. This is okay. All right. <laughs> I'm not as afraid. I was going to call EMT there for a second, yeah, but okay. we were close, but now so, we're you know, okay. So, you know, we saw you on this other show, Katino. You were talking about how Ja Morant is, is not being a good role model for flashing a gun. But hold on here. I think you're missing yep. the point. Yeah. He lives in Memphis. The team is called the Grizzlies. Yeah. Now, if there yeah. are grizzly bears running around there, well, wouldn't it be smart to carry a gun? Yeah. The Grizzlies <laughs> are everywhere. No, it's not smart to Listen. Licensed in a holster, in a box, all good. I'm not saying you know you shouldn't carry a gun, but at the end of the day, you're you know you big influence. You big yeah, exactly. influence. Exactly, you're a big model. influence. Okay. You're a role model. What about you're role models? Model. Exactly. What about what about John Wayne? Could yeah. you know is he not a role model to you? Yeah, or Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson, John Wayne, Death yeah. Wish. Yeah, exactly. You wanted to be him. Did yeah, I watched Death Wish 12. I said, oh, my God, what a guy here. He doesn't take I said, nothing. That's who I want to be when yeah. I grow up after world's number one sports cast. Yes. And, look at you, and, and look at you now. Amazing. I love it. I, I love excuse it. me? I'm sensing a little no, sarcasm. Look at, look at you now. You're not fighting... You're not fighting the fly right now. Are so you kidding me? You want to be the yeah. guy yeah. not even fighting the fly. Are you kidding one? me? We take on the whole sports world yeah. over here. We'll take you on. Yeah, we'll take you, know you on. Are you Hot kidding? Not, the next time I see you, I'm going to be right. putting my fist right where the sun don't shine. Because guess yeah. what, Katino? Guess what, Katino? You're getting Katinoed <laughs> from this show. You're out of here. You're done. Get out of here. You're off You're the off show. See ya. Go punch a bag. We're hanging go, up the mobile phone. You know what? I hope you get eaten by a grizzly bear. I just go go punch a bag in the back or something. Oh, okay? get out of here! Full scope satellite. Network. Is he off the line? Jay, hang up the you, phone. You know, I wish he was more like our guest last week, and you know, just didn't show up at all. Yeah, exactly. That would have been way better.